Hi everybody, it's me Sush. I'm just checking in on you. I hope that you're okay. I hope that you're feeling strong mentally and otherwise. I hope that you're using this time of COVID to be a time to reflect um, inward. And I hope that it's time to feel present and to know that you're going to be okay. We are all feeling the anxiety. Our children are feeling the anxiety. And just know, I always believe that there's a lot of strength in your vulnerability. And no matter how tough our times are, that's when our inner strength tends to shine. Anyways, during this time of COVID, what I've noticed is everybody um, sharing and caring. And one of the ways that people share and care is feeding. Because we're all stuck at home. Um, one of the things that we're worried about is what to cook. Are we running out of ideas? Or can we manage this month? Can we budget incorrectly? And also to keep the kids entertained food-wise. So I thought, just like everybody else who's been sharing their COVID cooking, I wanted to share something really special with you. So around this time of the afternoon, Parvani finishes school, um, so she likes to have what she calls a hot lunch. Um, so it's something that it's, it's a bonding moment for her and I. So usually, uh, like Wednesdays, we do sushi. Um, on a Monday, she likes her vegetables. Or on a Tuesday, she has like spaghetti. So just little things that she can have before dinner time. And it's stuff that I like to make that's fun for her. Uh, she's had a very long day of extracurricular. And sometimes I don't want to fill her too much before dinner time because I always cook a nice dinner. So this is my in-between hot lunch snack that I always make. And I hope that it will help you out today. Um, it is her absolute favorite. Since a kid, this is the only time my child has ever asked me, Mommy, please make this. I want the fried sausages, but I want it like a corn dog. So I was like, okay. So my very good friend, Lena, uh, Lena Valab, who's an amazing mom, she actually taught me how to make this. And it's something that I enjoy having during my fasting time. Uh, when I do fast, I don't use the egg, but when I'm not fasting, I do. So I'm not fasting at the moment, so I'm gonna use egg, but it's something really easy. It's super simple. And trust me, you are gonna get an A plus. Okay, so let me quickly help you with what you need. Um, I think you've got these ingredients. I'm sure you do. So you need some bread. Depending how many corn dogs you're going to make, I don't think you're going to need this much of a loaf, but I try to use a couple. She likes about two or three, um, and then my hubby also likes them, so I add a bit more. So about eight slices of bread, just in case. You need some tomato sauce. Okay, we're gonna use this to spread on the actual bread. Also, uh, we're not using the crust, so we're going to be slicing the crust off the bread, but don't think we're gonna waste anything. So what I like to do is sometimes just toast the bread and you use those as like little croutons in your soup um, or little like snacks, just a bit of some garlic, but it's very delicious. So nothing goes to waste. Um, you need two spices. Now, I love my spices, but these things work for the second dish that I'm making. So we're gonna make the corn dog and we're gonna make a little side to go with them. So we're making peri peri wedges, so obviously you need a potato or a couple. Um, and these are my favorite spices. It's the inner palmans masala spice. It is delicious. Um, and the inner palmans potato spice. So this also works well. So what I do is when I prepare my wedges, then I pop these two over the boiled potato. You need some breadcrumbs. This is going to be for the corn dogs. And you need some um, oil for shallow fry for the corn dogs and of course you need more oil for the deep frying when it comes to your peri peri wedges. So what I've done already is I have pre-boiled my soya sausages which look like so. Okay and these are the sausages that I like to use. These are part of these, like favorites. It's from the fries range and it's called the Bry style sausages. It is delicious and I think while we at this time of COVID we're also trying to have like nutritional nutritional eating. Um, I'm a huge plant-based eating fan and I've tried in many ways to introduce my child to it and she loves it. So it's, it's an amazing way to, to teach kids about food and getting them to enjoy everything. Um, and it's one of the, the brands that I really, really enjoy. So yeah, so plant-based foods for me is something that I'm looking into. You need a rolling pin, okay? This is, this is also great for your kids because it's such an easy meal that they're gonna want to do it. So you can make it fun. Uh, you can make it part of like a social science lessons or like a actual class lesson. So quantities are great. Whenever you're baking with kids or cooking, it's always nice to say, please may I have one egg and voila, they bring up one egg. Or please can I have um, 15 mils of tomato sauce. So then they're using, using measuring methods as well. So they are learning at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so something that I enjoy doing with them. I have tons of these. These are little uh, 
little skewers if you may yeah or kebab sticks so if you have them bonus if you don't i'm sure you can make a plan with other things the little metal one that you use for baking which is also great so this is what i have already so yeah things that i already have in my kitchen so what i've done is that i've pre-boiled my potatoes so they are coming out of the oven they're very hot so what i need to do with them is to slice them in quarters or like wedgie styles and then i go crazy with my spices i love to have peri peri ridges and I like a lot of like extra spice in them so when your potatoes come out you get them pre-prepared so you've already boiled them you've now sliced them and then you've added the masala and the potato spice all over and immediately you pop it into a very hot frying pan and you get your peri peri ridges going for the sausages what you need to do is you need to pre-boil your soy sausages which is what I've done um, and then once they're ready I let them cool nicely it's so good okay so you get that done and then we're good to go and now let's get ready to prepare okay so we've got ingredients sorted I've kind of got everything prepared don't forget to crack your egg in a dish um, I think preparation is everything when you're making your meal so I think the quicker you get everything laid out the faster it works my breadcrumbs are ready as well tomato sauce oh by the way this is what my potatoes look like before they go into the frying pan so you can see they're nicely spiced with all the good masala mm -mm -mm. yum I've sliced my bread so there's no crumbs and we are good to go okay so this is what we start off with first we take our piece of bread this is the normal size like I said I slice off the crusts this is cool for your kids to do as well they really love it so you flatten it out a bit so you see Got a bit thinner, just do the edges nicely. Okay, flatten, flatten, flatten. Some tomato sauce, yum. Okay. Give it like a nice, a nice dollop actually. Not too much, but yeah. So this is great. This by the way is a bit of a treat for Park. She's not really into sauces, so this is like, hmm. What's happening, mom? This is good. All right, remember, I have pre-boiled my braai style sausages from fries. So I started like that flat, almost like how you would make a Swiss roll. So hold it nice and carefully, nice and slow. Roll it in lacquer. Yum, 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 yum. So it kind of looks like so. Don't worry too much about the sides. Okay, now, if you're funny about dipping things <laughs> in gooey things, then use one of these. But I mean, I'm okay with it, I suppose. Roll them, on, roll them around really good. Get that. I don't mind using my hands actually. Okay, so roll them on nicely in the egg. Put the egg mixture to help it bind. Okay, then the fun part, and I think get your kids involved because they're gonna love this. And you just roll the little guy just back and forth. So that your product looks like so. See? Okay, so we have one ready. Let's do one more just in case, so that you can see how it's done. Very, very simple. Roll, 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 roll. So like I said, it's just, this is like our lunchtime treat, uh, the hot lunch before she gets home. Um, it doesn't take me too long to prepare, so that's why it's one of the things that I enjoy preparing for her. And because it looks so cool on the little sticks, she thinks it's a very, very like fancy, sophisticated dish. And as a mom, that's all. <laughs> okay, so let's get the next one in nicely. Okay. So tucked it in quite nicely. I mean, this is such a cool meal to do with your kid. I think your child would love it. Oh, that looks much better. There we go. Nice and delish. Roll happiness in the egg. So we're trying as parents to be, you know, more conscientized and help our child be more um, conscious of the environment and just do our little bit and wherever we can whether it's our carbon footprint whether it's the kind of food that we eat um, or you know the kind of things that we enjoy we're just trying to be uh, you know want to do our little bit for the planet and I hope you do the same yeah so I think plant-based is a, an easy step to start so anything that's plant-based and it's really good for your kids plus it teaches them a bit more about the environment okay second little guy is done Right, now we're gonna get ready to fry. So this is my little shallow fry of the fried soya sausages. I like them golden brown, okay? So probably likes that nice look. So like you can see, it's not too much oil, not too difficult. 
Oh, that's gonna look so good. And then of course my potatoes are having a good go. Yeah, these are almost done. So depending how brown you like yours, like that's a really good color. That's a nice color. We are ready to rock and roll. So I made the mistake of telling the family that the hot lunch was ready and all gone. I'm so sorry. But anyway, this is what it looks like when it's done. I popped it onto a skewer stick. And it's this beautiful golden brown and it's just ready for you to eat and then um you can have a side order of peri peri wedges if you like this is just a super treat for the fam but just generally pops he just likes to have it like so so choose kindness um if you're looking for something amazing to cook that's so easy that will not break a bank for you especially in this time when we're trying to save this is my special fries bry style sausage corn dog yum 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 okay i've got to go i'm sorry this is just so good <laughs>